What's up everybody? It is I, Hero Rage, and welcome to another Pokemon Go PvP Kingdom Cup video. Today I'm gonna show you 12 battles that I did with my buddy Zionic, who is a fantastic Pokemon Go PvP content creator. I'm going to link his video. I'm not sure if he's gonna make an edited video or if he's just gonna keep it as a live stream, right? But I'm gonna link it right there. We did 12 battles and he beat me up. <laughs> he beat me into the ground, boys and girls. I I was humbled, okay? But this is good because I learned so much and my tournament's actually coming up. So I feel like because he beat me up today, I feel like I've become a much better PvPer because I learned so much. Not just about uh, the Kingdom Cup meta type of stuff, but also stuff about me as a PvPer and also um, stuff about PvP worldwide. We're gonna talk about it. You're gonna get some solid solid PvP advice if your Con Kingdom Cup isn't uh, done yet. This is perfect, okay? So we're gonna get into the first battle. Let's go. So we start the match off with Altaria versus Altaria. Altaria, Altaria, mirror match. You already know this, okay? But the first thing that I learned about myself is I second guess myself a lot. You know, I have, I feel like I have the right answers uh, most of the time, most of the time, right? But sometimes I really, I, I second guess myself. Watch this. Okay, okay, so look at this. I'm fighting Lucario, right? So I get off a sky attack. And then I do this weird thing, right? I wanted to duck into Charizard, which would have been a good idea. But then I second guess myself. I'm like, okay, I don't want to get switch locked, right? And so, you know, I, I didn't switch. But I should have just kept attacking, right? I, I didn't do that. And he was wondering, like, bro, did you did you lag out? Is, is everything okay? Yes. And then here's another one. I had Blast Burn. And then I went for the Dragon Claw. Right? And then I swap to my Lucario. Which is, you know, I, I keep like second guessing my, my my shots. Most of the time I feel like I have things set up the right way. If I, sh if I threw that Blast Burn, everything would have been good. If I fought Lucario with uh, Altaria, everything would have been good. But no, his Steelix sweeps me. I hesitated so many times during that battle. Maybe like three times, three different like situations. Right? And I already had the advantage at the start. If I just kept going, if I just kept pushing with the flow, you know, everything would have been good. But no, I check the switch array, and then I don't swap to my Charizard. I throw Dragon Claw instead of Blast Burn, when obviously, like, Blast Burn would have been the thing to throw. And then I swap to my Lucario, and so his Steelix... I basically fed my, my, my Lucario to his Steelix, so, you know, hesitation. That is something that I need to work on, okay? Here's the next one. So we start the match off with Altaria versus Alolan Marowak, which is a very dangerous thing for my team right now. He swaps in his Altaria. I'm like, I gotta get out of there. I gotta save my Altaria for that Marowak. So I swap in my Lucario. Why did I do that? It's because nothing else on my team can take Alolan Marowak. I have two fighters in the back. That's not good. Now, if you were watching the gameplay, you saw that I charged up to a Shadow Ball and then I threw Power Up Punch. And now here I am, throwing power up punch again. <laughs> that is a waste of DPS. Why? That was hesitation, but I hesitated, right? That's a waste of DPS because if you charge up to a, a shadow ball and then throw, you know, power up, pun up punch instead, you should have just like thrown the power up punch in the first place to get that instant increase in, in damage, right? That's what I should have done. I should just like, you know, mowed it down with my... Or I should have just thrown the shadow ball. I don't know, but I was just... I was feeling kind of like... I don't know, not confident in myself when I was like battling Zionic. He really intimidated me because, yeah. But yes, I, learning, learning. I was hesitating, I was feeling the pressure. I needed to, to, to kind of like put on a good show because, you know, he was live streaming. So I felt like, you know, I had, to, I had to do my part. But the thing was, I feel like it really got to me. And I feel like, you know, one of the reasons why I haven't won a Silph Arena tournament is because I'm not good with dealing with pressure. That's something that I, I feel like I really need to improve on, you know? Uh, do you guys get nervous during like tournaments type of thing? I get paralyzed with fear whenever uh, I do tournaments. Like that's that's for reals, right? I All my friends know this about me. I go really quiet. Uh, if you watch some of my tournament videos, you'll see me. I'm just, I'm just like, I'm quiet. I'm not, I don't know. I, I go into like a different place. But I feel like if I just, if I learn to relax, during those times of pressure, you know, I might improve as a PvPer, right? I feel like that's a valuable lesson. 
let's move on to the next one. Okay, so now we're moving on to something that is more for you guys, okay? Now, because I was really pressured and I was giving in to that pressure, I forgot to do something that I advocate in almost every single one of my videos, and that is you need to swap your flow, right? I led with Altaria three times in a row. He obviously, you know, adapted that because he's a good PvPer, but yeah, we're gonna talk hard counter versus soft counter. Zionic here is a master of using hard counters. What does that mean? Hard counters beat whatever they're supposed to beat hard, right? Soft counters, they beat what they're supposed to beat, you know, uh, but they do take more damage. Plus, you need to shield them, you know, they're, they're a little bit it's a squishier, but they have a wider coverage, so they're safer to use. I have been using the soft counters. I've been using Blaziken. I've been using Bronzong. He is a master of using these hard counts. He got an earthquake off on my Lucario, bro. Okay, he's a master at using these type of Pokemon. And I feel like you're better off using these hard counters. They take more practice, but... So when you're building your team of six, you need to start off with the ball core. Bastiodon, Alteria, Lapras, Lucario. Ball core, you get it? Okay, and then for your last two Pokemon, you don't have to follow the ball. Some people do Sol, so Steelix, right? If you don't have Bastiodon, but Lucario. I feel like you need a Lucario, okay? But people do better with the ball core plus, you know. So for the last two Pokemon, you can choose either two hard counters or two soft counters, right? What am I talking about? The two most common uh, Pokemon that people are gonna use, Altaria, Lucario, okay? So you wanna think, what is a hard counter to Altaria? Steelix, okay? And what is a hard counter to Lucario? Alolan Marowak or Charizard, okay? So those are the hard counters, okay? What are the soft counters? Altaria has Bronzong, a little bit, okay, Bronzong. You also got... Uh, Dragonair a little bit, not Dragonair loses, Bronzong a little bit, I like Bronzong a lot more as a soft counter, right? But Lucario, what do you got? It's Blaziken. Blaziken is a soft counter because Blaziken still takes a good chunk of HP from Lucario, plus he needs a shield, right? So he's a soft counter, right? So you kind of like want to play around, how do you play? Okay, do you like having the, like that wider coverage? Blaziken can also kill, you know, Bastiodon, uh, Steelix, all these tanky Pokemon. Uh, Bronzong can also handle Lucario. Bronzong can also handle Lapras a little bit depending on shielding, right? Can also deal a good da amount of damage to uh, Bastiodon. Do you want that? Or do you want to go hard counter, defeat the Pokemon, get to the next Pokemon with a good bit of health? It's up to you. See, the thing is, on Reddit, They've been doing a lot of statistics with, you know, the finished cups and it, statistically, the hard counters are much better, alright? Even though I don't like running them, I really, I, I'm bad at using Steelix, I'm bad at using Alolan Marowak, but statistically, they do better. So they do Ball, S, right? Steelix, get it? Balls? <laughs> balls? They do Balls and then Alolan Marowak or Charizard. That's, that's kind of like the the core, the meta meta team, okay? But let's keep on uh, battling. So I've been thinking a lot about why Zionic beat me so hard during his live stream, okay? But yeah, I, I win this one. All right, high five? Okay, excellent, okay. <laughs> now, I win a couple, but not it, it wasn't great, okay? The reason why is because, well, one, I'm trash. The second one is because he is a master a master of using these hard counters, okay? This, this Steelix right here is his best friend. He goes to sleep with it, like beside it, all right? He's hugging that thing. It's feeling really cold. I don't know if he has air conditioning, but yeah, he sleeps right beside this Steelix. That Alolan Marowak, bro, that is his pillow right there, okay? He knows these Pokemon inside out. He knows these Pokemon uh, when they're at their best, when they're at their worst, and yeah, I feel like that's why he was able to destroy me. Because I've been using soft counters. I've been using Blaziken. Blaziken's a pretty soft counter, right? He just, he gets in, he kills Lucario. Okay, he throws a, another, uh, he's very simple to use, very easy. There's not a lot of sophistication, right? With a Lolan Marowak, you, you kinda you gotta play the mind games, right? I don't know. I won though. I mean, if you think about it, right? 
if you take out somebody's Lucario and their last Pokemon is Bastiodon and Altaria and you have your Steelix, you win, right? And then, you know, if you take out somebody's Altaria and then their last Pokemon is like Blaziken and Lucario and you have a Lolan Marowak, then you win, right? Let's move on to the next one. So we're gonna start the match off with Bronzong versus Altaria. Good matchup, okay? But this match is gonna show you one of my core weaknesses, which actually some of you guys point out in the comment section quite a lot, okay? I am bad at reading energy. Watch this, okay? So he's gonna get off this, this charge. I almost did not shield that. I was still thinking, do I, do I shield it or not? Oh my god, I am probably like one of the derpiest uh, people when it comes to like shield or not shield. Shield or not, I, I lose most of the time because of that. And that's why like Alolan Marowak is so effective on me because I'm like, that's a bone club. And then I get like whacked with a shadow ball. So yeah, that's something that I definitely need to uh, get better at. If you're not good at that, we're in the same boat, okay? We are in the same boat. I feel you on that. You guys get Shadow Ball to the face? I hate that, man. I hate that. Look at this. Watch this part, okay? Oh, no, no, no. The, the next part of this. Anyways, so Bronzong doing work, right? Doing really work. Took out Altaria and then, you know, did half. You see, watch this, watch this. Okay, so I took a power up punch, right? I'm like, ah, it's, not, it's a power up punch. He got off a Shadow Ball. Oh my god. And it was like that close. So. I just won two in a row. You like that? You proud of me? Okay. Wait till you see this one. <laughs> Let's go. So the story was, you know, I had two points. He had three points. And, you know, I'm leading with Lapras. He's got Lucario. It seems bad, but it's not that bad. It's not that bad, right? It's not like Bastion on Lucario. It's not that bad. Okay, so I'm gonna get off this surf. Okay, great. And then I am going to swap. I can't freaking believe it. I just took it. I just took it because I was so embarrassed. I was like, oh my god, I can't believe I did that, man. He had three wins. I had two wins. I was making it back. I was making it back. Why? <laughs> you know, you ever get those moments where you just got to laugh it off? Oh my god. That was a genius moment right there, okay? For all the people who are like, you know, your prediction skills are like, next level. <laughs> So yes, he's gonna take this, obviously, right? Fantastic battle, excellent. Okay, he's gonna get, I think it takes like one punch to kill me. Woo! As you can tell, I was having quite the night. Let's move on to the next one. So we started to match off with Altaria, and he is starting off with a hard counter. Okay, at this point, you know, I was, I was feeling down. The last match was like, it's bad, right? I was, I was thinking, you know what? It can't be as bad as the last match, right? Let, let's just try to fight it out, right? Maybe I can find like a, the right time to duck or something. Oh, so here I am burning one shield. Okay, that's cool. All right, let me get off one sky attack. And then I do something pretty slick. I duck, okay? Which is a good idea because I got him out. But then, what does he come in with? Another hard counter. Oh my god. Oh my sweet lord. <laughs> He is a master with these hard counters, man. I, I can't do anything. My Altaria is in the back, bleeding to death. <laughs> and here's my Lucario facing something that he cannot... What? I can't hit him. I <laughs> it's just, it's bad. It's bad, guys. So, you know, his last Pokemon is most likely Lucario. And now my Lucario counter is hurting. He gets to the power up punch before I get to my Sky Attack because... That's how energy works. <laughs> oh my god, hard counters, okay? So for all the people, your Kingdom Cup's not there yet. All right, so we're moving on to the next battle. We've got my double fighting strategy here. And yeah, this is a good strategy, you know? But against somebody who loves, loves, loves a Alolan Marowak, that's not gonna be a good strategy. So my plan was save my Altaria no matter what for a Alolan Marowak or Altaria, okay? Because Altaria is another thing that will tear through those two Pokemon. Let's see how we do. So we start a match off with Altaria versus Altaria. Altaria Mirror Match. Now, I am convinced that my Altaria is magical. Why? Because no matter what, my Altaria beats other Altaria. I don't know why. I don't know what it is, okay? I battled Gemma. You guys know Gemma Banks? 
I beat his Altaria like 100% of the time. It's not the IVs because he's got a good IV Altaria. But anyways, okay. He brings in Lapras. I'm like, okay, thank God. Maybe he doesn't have a Lowland Marowak. Okay. He does not have a Lowland Marowak. Finally. Finally, I can win one. At this point, I, I was pretty sure. Okay, I've got this 100%. Plus, his Lapras is a nice shard. Okay, so, you know, it's not gonna deal as much to my Blaze again. My Blaze again still got like a couple of uppercuts on that thing. And finally, yes. My double fighting strategy works on thing on teams that don't have a Lulan Marowak. So, okay, keep that in mind. And we win. Alright, so now we're moving on to advanced strategies. Let's see how we do. So we start to match off with Lucario versus Altaria. Bad matchup. Bad matchup. But I can win if I pull off a bank. What is a bank? What is banking? You overcharge your Lucario. You throw a shield bait, and then you throw the heavier charge move, okay? I got a shield bait, but then he ducks into his Ducario, and he used my own advanced strategy against me, and he pulls off a Shadow Ball on my Altaria. Guess what he has? A hard counter. And also, what's my last Pokemon in the back? Bastiodon! Bastiodon is my last Pokemon. He has a... A Bastiodon Slayer. That's GG. That is GG. That is what is gonna win you the Kingdom Cup, okay? Get good at using hard counters. Get good at using Steelix. Get good at using Alolan Marowak. And then start to apply, practice the advanced strategies that I made that are now slaying me. And you will become a monster. This is probably like his best fight this whole night, okay? Such a clean win. He's got like a, a fresh Pokemon in the back, you know? GG. You know, at least I know my videos are helping people out, right? They're getting better because of my advanced strats. They're getting better at beating me, dang it. Let's go to the next battle. So we start to match off with Altaria versus a hard counter. A very, very tanky, very hard counter. Okay, you know, it is what it is. I've got two ducks in the back. You know, I have Lapras. I have uh, Blaziken. I would much rather use Lapras for this situation because Lapras is, you know, it can handle Steelix, can't handle Lucario. I'd much rather save my Blaziken for Lucario. So I, I duck into my Lapras. Lapras with Water Gun does a good amount of damage, but not enough to be a, a fantastic duck. Okay, so we get off a Surf on his Lucario. That was good enough. That was a good duck. Okay, gonna take that. It's all good. Now, you know, I bring in my Altaria thinking, I don't want to fight Steelix with Altaria. That's not a good idea. You know, I'm going to save my Blaziken for that. It's all good. All right, save the shield for Blaziken because he does need the shield in most situations, right? Okay, got that down. What does he come in with? What does he come, what does he come in with? Another hard counter. I just cannot beat this guy with all the soft counters that I have. Or like the, the soft Pokemon that I have. I need... You know what I mean? I need walls, man! I need I need to build them walls! Kingdom Cup is all about them walls! Right? You know, after this live stream, I had a couple of battles with Jimma, and I started to practice using harder counters, and yeah, it automatically improved my gameplay. So, you know, even though Blaziken feels really nice to use, feels really safe, has wider coverage, right? And also, Bronzong, safe lead, wide range, can get uh, all these... You need them walls, bro. You need them walls. Let's move on to the next match. So we started to match off with Altaria versus Altaria. I was beat down at this point. You know, I was like, all right, he's got me. He, he definitely like outplays me. He's got a better team than I do. I gotta, you know, reinvent myself and improve myself uh, before the tournament. But, you know, I was thinking a lot clearer, you know. The pressure was kind of like lifted a little bit. I was feeling quite good. Okay, got the Altaria down. I definitely had to shield that because I thought it was a Dragon Pulse. Okay, I get to the Steelix. Okay, that's good. We have two choices. Obviously, I'm gonna pick Lapras because his last Pokemon might be Lucario. But the scary thing is, what if it was Alolan Marowak? Right? What if it was Alolan Marowak? What if I, I, I ended with, you know, Blaziken versus Alolan Marowak? I would have lost, but thank God it was Lucario. Okay, so he brings in his Neelix. Okay, he's gonna get my Blaziken down. That's fine, that's fine. And finally, finally, we're in a, you know, a good place. He is gonna get off this Earthquake. He's gonna get off this Earthquake right here, okay? But not enough to kill Lapras, that's great. But yeah. Now this next battle is gonna be the last one and you're gonna get to see some pretty sick Steelix trick shots. It is really, 
it's some high class strats, okay? So stay tuned. But before we get into it, I just want to throw a big shout out to Zionic, dude. Thank you so much for having me on your PvP roundtable. I had so much fun. I was so flattered that you invited me along with King and Elite Four TV. So I'm I'm thinking that you think that I'm in like, you know, the big leagues, but obviously I've got, you know, a lot to go before I'm on your level. Okay, so you know. I'm improving. I'll get there someday, but I I hope you know we get to do that more often. I I'll be there. You just like let me know the time. I I love having like those chats with you guys and uh, yeah. Let's get into the battle. So we start the match off with Lucario mirror match. Okay, I'm down for that. High octane uh, action. Live fast, die young. He swapped right away to Zalulan Marowak. Just as I threw my power up punch, that was a masterful block. Okay. All right, at least, you know, I can get this thing down with uh, my Altaria. I, I blocked that Shadow Ball. You see that? Are you proud of me? I guessed correctly. The second one, though, I'm not I'm not shielding that no matter what it is because I need the shield for, you know, my other two. Okay, so I'm going to be able to take this Bone Club to the face but then take out his Alula Marowak. Guess who he comes out with? Obviously, another hard counter, Steelix. Okay, it's all good. I'm used to this at this point. I've got the double fighting. It's all good, you know? Save the shields for the boys in the back. Okay, pull out my Lucario. He does something fantastic here. Something masterful. Okay, he charges up his Steelix. He swaps in his Lucario to kill my... <laughs> to kill my uh, Lucario. And then he burns my shield. And then he comes in with his Steelix and... Steelix trick shots. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something. I hope you had a good laugh. Uh, I already had a good laugh. And then I cried a little bit after. But you know it is what it is. It's a learning experience. Okay, remember to leave a like, comment down below. Binge bro, get some skills, man. Get some skills. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. I'm, I'm gonna get some practice, okay? Subscribe if you haven't yet. Ding that notification bell. Check out Zionix channel i will link it in the pinned comment and also right there all right i'll see you on the next one bye guys